Restore full spinal mobility with these three exercises. If you're like most of us, you're sitting more than ever, your back's getting stiffer more than ever, and now you just feel like your spine's old and rusty and you need to do something about it because now you're getting back pain and neck pain and it's not feeling good. I feel like shit. Well, my name is Dr. Grant Elliott, founder of Rehab Fix, and we've helped thousands of people around the world fully recover from low back pain, disc herniation, and sciatica. And in this episode, number 152 of the Low Back Pain Podcast, I'm gonna show you three of the best exercises to regain that mobility in your entire spine to become free of these restrictions and reduce your pain today. Real quick, if you have not joined my private Facebook group yet, you need to do so. It is called Rehab Fix Low Back Program. And immediately upon joining, you will receive our free step-by-step -step Sadika guide. This is the same process that we have taken thousands of our clients through around the world to identify exactly how to fix their sciatica and ultimately become pain-free through our one-on-one -on -one coaching program. In this group, you will be able to see our clients and what they're doing for success and additional resources and more free guides. So if you're serious about fixing your back, you need to join this group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program. See you soon. All right, full spine mobility, let's do it. Let's start with the neck. For the neck, we have to understand that most of the time we are sitting in a forward head posture position all throughout the day, texting on our phones, looking at our computers, or just leaning forward, reading a book or what have you. What this position does is, we're gonna analyze the cervical spine here, it puts the lower cervical spine in a flexed position or a rounded position. And it puts the upper cervical spine into an extended position. What this does to the upper cervical spine is it can shorten and cause the suboccipital muscles to become really tight. These are the ones that attach the base of the skull to the neck, and this is a common location of stress for a lot of people. For the lower cervical spine, since it's always in a flexed position, this increases load and stress that can manifest into those upper back and even tight shoulder blade type issues. So the number one thing we can start to do to restore your full neck mobility is to promote the opposite motion in both of these areas using our chin retraction exercise. For this exercise, you're going to lean back in your chair, ideally one that stops around your upper back region, not one that goes all the way to the head. And we're gonna lean back, relax our shoulders, totally relax our shoulders, our upper back, everything, so you're totally relaxed leaning into the chair so that we're not using our postural muscles to support us and we can really relax. And now you're going to pull your chin or slide your jaw straight back, not bringing it up, not bringing it down, sliding it straight back like we're trying to make a double chin. Might look a little bit goofy, but we're gonna create a double chin. And as you do this, here's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel a tension in the front of the neck. These are the muscles contracting, performing the motion you're going to feel a really significant stretch in the entire backside of your neck, especially that upper cervical spine where those suboccipital muscles are. What this is doing is it's putting the opposite motions into these two key areas. So for your upper neck, your upper cervical spine, that's always an extension. Pulling your chin back into retraction pushes that into flexion. It's giving it the opposite motion that it's not getting much of. So it's restoring the joint's mobility to that motion, and it's elongating and stretching those suboccipital muscles. And for the lower cervical spine, that's always in flexion, it is pushing that into extension. It is restoring the motion in those joints, in those discs, in those segments, and stretching muscles in unique ways that they have not been in a very long time. So this is like the, the one thing that can really create a significant change in the way your neck and upper back feels. And is definitely my number one movement to restore neck mobility. Hey, real quick, if you're watching this video and you're resonating with the things that I'm saying and you're ready to be pain-free, just click the link below and you can schedule a call personally with my team so we can meet with you, go over your current situation and figure out what you're missing and help you develop a game plan so that you can finally become pain-free. This is for serious people only, so click the link if you are ready to go. Back to the show. Now for the second region, let's climb down a little bit to the mid-back, the mid-back. And once again, for many of us, we're sitting in flex positions all day. So just like your head is in a forward head position, usually our mid-back is in a rounded position as well. So what are we going to do? We're going to do the opposite while also promoting lat and shoulder mobility because these are areas that affect the mid-back. The lats and the shoulders affect the mid-back. And so we can do an exercise to accomplish all three of these key areas, the mid-back, the lats, and the shoulders. 
what you're going to do is you're going to turn around, use that exact office chair that you've been sitting in for the last few hours. You're going to prop your elbows up on the chair. So you're on your knees, putting your elbows on the chair. You're going to bring your elbows close together, hands on your upper back, and you're going to push your hips back while you push your chest down, like you're pushing your chest and your head through your arms, pushing your chest further and further to the floor repetitively. What you're going to feel in this position is a significant stretch through the lats, through the underside of the shoulders, and through that mid-back. You might feel a lot of pressure in the mid-back. Many people do because they're so stiff and locked up in this region due to the way that we sit and not move uh, throughout the day. And this can be one that can really open things up and make you feel so much more free after doing it. After you've been sitting there for a long time, this will feel amazing. I feel good. And once again, it's the opposite motion. If you're in flexion for multiple, multiple hours, we need to restore these areas by performing the opposite motions. And this is the best one to address the mid back and these other areas that are close by that affect it as well. And the last one, the low back. Once again, our low back is in flexion most of the day and our hips are in flexion most of the day too. So we need to do the opposite. Kick that chair back, get on the ground. Let's perform a lumbar extension movement. This is going to look just like the cobra pose, like in yoga, but once again, not holding this. We're going to perform this repetitively. What this is doing for us is it is promoting low back extension and hip extension, the opposite. It's stretching out your lower back and your hips in the opposite motion that you're in throughout the day. These are the most efficient and, and the fastest ways to regain full spine mobility through these areas. Now, are there multiple other exercises that we could do? Sure. But if I could only pick one per region, it would be these because they're the most direct and most specific to these problem areas. So this last region, this low back region, this exercise, this lumbar extension is going to help you restore and undo all of that flexion sitting that you've been doing throughout the day. And once again, get the fluid back into the discs, fluid back into the joint capsules and expose the joints in the discs and the muscles to ranges that it does not get frequently. Remember, there is no good or bad movement, just a movement that your body's not prepared for, that your body's not adapted to and not exposed to. And joints and discs and muscles that are not exposed to all ranges of motion are ones that are susceptible to injury in those motions. So we want to get all of the mobility back. And it just so happens that extension is probably the most lacked mobility that you are getting throughout your day. So it is the number one that we should be paying attention to right now. Now, so this low back one will change your life. You'll feel so much better after doing it, just like the other two that we discussed today. And this is going to help polish off, once again, the last area, your lower back, but also help mobilize your hip flexors as well. These three exercises will change your life and will help you restore full spine mobility so that you can finally not feel rusty anymore, not feel like you're all tight and cramped up and feeling like, oh, I just need to move and you know my back's gonna go out on me today and all these other nasty feelings that we don't want to have. This is a way that you can start to remove that from your life because you don't have to live in pain. This is a choice. You can do something about it. Do something. These videos that I make are great. We get comments every day about how helpful these videos are to people, and that's fantastic. But if you're guessing your way through these and you're still kind of spinning your tires, you should not be spinning your tires any more than like, honestly, like two weeks. If you want to try some of our exercises on your own, that's great. But if you're not making significant progress within like two weeks, seek guidance. Come on, this is what we do for a living and we work with people all around the world and we help them formulate the right plans for them so we can take you from A to Z faster than you could ever on your own and really faster than most anybody else could. So I'm proud of you for watching these videos and for listening to what I'm saying and for trying to apply this into your life. That's exactly why I make this content. But at the same time, I don't want you to be that person who's sitting on the bleachers watching and listening to you know dozens and dozens or hundreds of these videos, trying things here and there, but still kind of staying in the same place. You don't need to be there. You don't need to choose to be on the bleachers. You can jump in the game and we can do this thing the right way and we can get you out of pain fast. And we would love to be partners with you and to be on your team in doing so. So book a call, take action, do something about your situation. Let us help you change your life because you only have one 
You deserve for it to be the highest quality of living possible. So take advantage of it. Once again, be sure to join my Facebook group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program, so you can get additional exclusive content and our free Sataka guide immediately upon joining. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, please leave a five-star rating and review so we can grow this podcast and help reach more individuals who deserve to get results, who feel like they're spinning their tires and getting frustrated in doing so. As always, move more, move in nature, move in the sun. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.